question. What do Dan Aykroyd, there, Beethoven, and Thomas Jefferson all have in common? Well, at least all have or are believed to have had Asperger's syndrome. That's a developmental disorder often linked to autism. One in 500 people have it, and most are not only living with it, they're learning to conquer it. Seventh grader Sam Anderson always seems to be smiling, and he's eager to learn. His hand repeatedly shoots up in class. Using hydrogen in the helium. Fusion of hydrogen into helium. Or nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion, that's correct. He may not always give Mr. Schroeder the right answer, but he never stops trying, especially when it comes to anything science. Besides hanging out with my friends, science is my favorite subject. Since I can remember, I've always liked building things and just science and chemistry, and I just, I just really, I don't know how to describe it. I guess I was just born to be scientific. Born to be scientific, but also born with a form of autism called Asperger's syndrome. It just means that you can think faster and you also can learn things fast. Your brain just runs a whole lot faster. That's good, but you also have emotional problems such as depression, um, anxiety and social interaction is sometimes awkward Sam is well aware of this and so are some of his classmates I just they know I'm different they just don't know what makes me different Sam's mom Sherry that's um, really hard to see your, your child be rejected or um, just struggle when you're driving in the car and he says I just wish I was normal um, so that and he is and he has so many great things going for him but the other kids just don't get it it's okay don't so, cry on television the key for sam was to find his passion and nurture it he found it here at legacy traditional school in maricopa sam mentioned his teachers and Honestly, it's made all the difference in the world. One of the hallmarks of Asperger's is intense focus, which, when channeled properly, can be a great asset. That's where a recent science competition came in. Sam and his classmates constructed a 3D printer. Data is going from here to the machine and then back to the computer. Sam's team took first place. The youngest team competing against two high schools and Sam was a key player. It's ready. He brought ingenuity. He brought great ideas. Judy Nunneman, a computer teacher at Legacy, oversaw the team of eight. She watched Sam become completely immersed in the project. When this 3D project came up, it was just a perfect fit for him because it just went along with something that was already very uh, important to him, technology and being innovative. She's been teaching Sam since he was a little boy and expects great things. He does inspire me. I've seen him overcome challenges that were not easy for him. He is intrinsically motivated and he will do whatever he can to accomplish his goal. Sam has not only accepted his challenges, he he's turned them into an asset. I used to hate it. I used to just hate Asperger's entirely, but now I've, I almost kind of like being special. It's a gift. You just got to learn how to take the flaws in it. It define. it's a part of you. And always will be, but it doesn't define you. Now it's done. Sam told me his dream is to one day run his own science and technology company. SAIL stands for Sam Anderson Invention Laboratories. And if I had to bet, that's exactly what Sam will do and accomplish. Remarkable young man.